While I've been enjoying some Mario Kart World on the Nintendo Switch 2, I've also been playing quite a bit of the recently released HMW mod for Modern Warfare Remastered. If you guys don't know what that is, Horizon Modern Warfare is a community mod that basically ports the classic Modern Warfare 2 and 3 weapons, maps, perks, and killstreaks into Modern Warfare Remastered's multiplayer with extra features such as full progression, unlocks, and a prestige system. People basically tout it as Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer remastered and it's been a lot of fun. I've been super addicted to it. And what's really cool about this mod is that it also has support for Linux and the Steam Deck. So you can bring your classic Modern Warfare 2 or 3 moments wherever you want. So in this video, I will be going over how to get the mod installed on your Steam Deck and show some gameplay and performance metrics. I'll leave timestamps below if you get lost, so let's get into it. All right, first things first, let's talk about some prerequisites. Really, the only main requirement to install this mod is that you must own Modern Warfare Remastered on Steam legitimately. Getting it through other means will not work from my understanding, unfortunately, especially on SteamOS. So your best bet is to grab it during sales because in no way do I recommend purchasing Modern Warfare Remastered for the full $40 that it's going for right now. You will also need to open up the game's multiplayer at least once if you haven't done so already. We need to do this prematurely so we can disable the cache shaders option in the settings, which is enabled by default. And the reason we have to do that is this game is not the greatest PC port and the shaders option has resulted in issues with the game running in the past, so we just want to disable it now to make sure we don't potentially run into future hiccups. So just go ahead and do that and quit the game once you have set the options. Now, there are two main methods of getting this mod, either using HMW's official launcher or going through the alternative using their torrent. From my experience, I found going through the latter way with using the torrent to download the mod worked better with the Steam Deck, with the launcher running into some compatibility issues and errors. But if you want to try the launcher way, I have provided it as well in this video, so go to whichever method you want using the timestamps. I will now be explaining that launcher method now. First, head over to the HMW Discord and download the launcher using the link provided. I do want to note also with this Discord that the server actually has a dedicated Linux and Steam Deck channel and it was thanks to them that I was able to make this video. So if you guys got any discussions or questions, I would check out that channel there for potential assistance. But anyways, back to the launcher. Once it's downloaded and unzipped, open up your Steam client on the desktop and add the HMW launcher. If you don't know how to do this already, simply click on games in your Steam client, then select add a non-Steam game to my library. You can then add the EXE there. Once it's added, configure your EXE to use Proton by going into properties, then launch the HMW launcher itself. You may see some error message pop up concerning failing to grab the patch notes due to some web views or something like that, but this has not prevented the launcher from opening, at least from my experience. Just hit OK and the launcher should eventually just show up for you. You then want to hit the cogwheel on the top right and set your game directory to where Modern Warfare Remastered is installed in your Steam Deck. If you don't know where that is, in Steam, right click on Modern Warfare Remastered and head over to Properties, then Install Files, then Browse. You should then be able to copy the file path from there, finish and save when you have set your directory. All you need to do now is to hit verify files and the launcher should just automatically start downloading the mod. Now, depending on your connection, downloading the mod here could take an extremely long time or just not work properly at all. If you're having any major issues, I would suggest trying to download the mod using the torrent method instead. Otherwise, if you were able to get it working, once the mod files have downloaded, do not hit the play button yet. This is crucial. Instead, head over back to your Modern Warfare Remastered's game directory and skip to the following timestamp for the next steps. Now, if you are having issues with even opening the launcher or the download through the launcher is extremely slow, the developers have an alternative method using a torrent. Now, like all torrents, keep in mind that depending on your ISP, you may have to run through a VPN if necessary. The mod itself is safe from what I understand, and you technically are only downloading the mods. You're not actually downloading illegal media or the game itself. But please be aware that not all providers are happy-go-lucky with using torrents, so just be aware of that. You also will need to download Qubit Torrent. 
It's free and available through SteamOS's desktop app store, so you can just easily download it from there. Once you get Qubit downloaded, head over to the Git repository linked in the channel and download the HMW mod torrent. Now open the downloaded torrent through Qubit and follow the Git's instructions carefully to set up the process, including configuring it to not create a subfolder and pointing your torrent into your Modern Warfare Remastered's game directory. Once the files have been downloaded and the process is complete, close Qubit and in your Modern Warfare Remastered directory, you should now see the h2m mod exe file. With your h2m mod exe file, add it to Steam by going into games in the top left of the client and clicking on add a non-Steam game to my library. Once that's added, right click on it, go to properties and change the compatibility to use Proton. You should then be able to just open up hmw through here and if all goes well, you should now be booted up into the game. It may take some time to render everything, so please be a little patient and you're basically set. Now that we have the game running, let's go ahead and talk about performance, which is pretty great. Given that this is a mod, there will be some graphical and loading hiccups, such as maps not loading properly or the server browser crashing. But from my testing and for the most part, the game really hasn't had any major issues running and given that the original remaster came out years before this handheld did, it's no surprise that the game runs pretty smooth for the most part. In this gameplay, I have basically set the game at almost max settings with cache related settings disabled and shadows turned to normal at the native resolution. But in game, even with the higher player count lobbies, we can easily hit above 60 a good chunk of the time, sometimes well past the 90 to 100 FPS mark. So if you have an OLED Steam Deck with that 90Hz refresh rate, you'll get to enjoy some smoother gameplay. It will depend heavily on the map though, as some of the original COD4 maps like Crash here will be more detailed since they are official maps, and as a result, they will run into some pacing and stutters where they do hit below 60 sometimes, but that's more of an exception more than the rule. I also tried putting on a 15 watt TDP cap, and I have seen almost no performance drops below 60. It's still smooth and you can easily lower the TDP and settings down for even better battery life while still maintaining still good graphical fidelity. I was tinkering with it a little bit and with a mix of high and medium settings, a 60 FPS frame cap, and an 8 to 10 watt TDP, I can keep a pretty consistent 60 FPS and hit around 2.5 to 3.5 hours of game time on a normal LCD deck, which is pretty nice. Overall, I think that if you are craving some classic multiplayer COD on the go, this mod is one of the best multiplayer experiences that you can have on the Steam Deck. The game works well with controller settings in mind, has open community support, full-on progression, and runs almost flawlessly on the deck. I can easily recommend this mod for anyone curious, and if you're willing to pay the 20 bucks admission for a legit copy, then 100% I think it's worth it. But that's enough talk for me. I'll go ahead and move straight into some more Steam Deck like raw gameplay and just leave it from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any additional questions, go ahead and check the Discord. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. UAV online, take them out. Start up. Start up. 
Ready for deployment. 